Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Maureen Reardon Coyle, and I was class of 1994 from Sacred Heart Academy. Yay! It is with great pleasure that I stand here tonight in the presence of these remarkable women. I have the honor to introduce someone who's touched many of our lives, and it's not just anyone, she's my best friend. I have known Liz basically since we were born. I'm pretty sure our moms did post-baby workouts together. We grew up directly across the street from one another. And while I had three sisters, Liz only had brothers. Luckily for me, she was open to the idea of having a sister, and that's pretty much what we became. From very early on, we did everything together. We fought like sisters, laughed like sisters, shared like sisters, and loved like sisters. Our days at Shah were particularly special. Our bus rides, lunches, classes, sports night, red cheer captains, RTV. <laughs> I have always known Liz was special. I remember never wanting to leave her house and always wanting her to come on vacation with my family. Her spirit is intoxicating, and when you meet her, you can't help but want to be around her. Liz is a woman of decency and character. She holds steadfast to the principles that guide her in her life. She's one of those people who does the right thing when nobody is watching. She never takes the easy way out, and she holds herself accountable and she sets a standard of moral integrity in her life that is inspiring. But beyond that moral sense, Liz is a tremendous source of positivity and encouragement. She will lift you up and give you support and guidance no matter the trouble. In good times, Liz will, lift you, uh, will celebrate you and cheer for you. And during your most trying of times, Liz is the one you can lean on, a pillar of strength. You want her by your side. You want her on your team. She's the epitome of the foxhole guy. But what truly sets Liz apart is her commitment to making a difference in the lives of others, whether it be through mentoring, or her dedication to her family, her career, or simply the kindness that she shows to those who are around her. Liz is a true servant leader. Sacred Heart has been so important to Liz, and she has dedicated her time and energy for many, many years, and despite the fact that she only has sons. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> for years now, I have been in awe of Liz as she has navigated all facets of her life, from her family and her friends to her career and volunteerism. She manages to give 100% of herself to each part. Tonight, we recognize the profound impact she has made. She's an imp inspiration and an example of what is good and special in the world. So please join me as we celebrate her remarkable contributions in leadership. Please welcome my dear friend, Liz Kahl. Now I know what my eulogy sounds like, so that was wonderful. Um, <laughs> thank you, Maureen. It's beautiful. I like it. I like it. She did a very nice job. So, <laughs> so when I was getting ready for tonight, um, I went to put my Apple Watch on, which I do, you know, every day. But then I realized I don't need to wear this tonight. I normally wear it because my husband's calling me or my kids are texting me or my mom's looking for me or my dad can't find my mom. So they're both looking for me. <laughs> and my, my arm buzzes all day long at work. But tonight you're all here, so I don't have to wear it. This is a, a very special night for me, and I'm so happy to be here with all of you. And congratulations to Maureen and Lisa, my fellow nominees. It is wonderful to be celebrating with you, your families, and all of our Shaw friends. And also a special, special thanks to my brother, John, and my sister-in-law, Christy. Thank you for chairing the committee tonight. I know this is a, a ton of time. You've got many commitments. And given the turnout, I think you did a wonderful job. It is truly such an honor to be here. I've sat in this room many nights, and I've been in awe of the honorees and thought to myself, I could never give a speech up there. So here I am. I never expected to be up here one day. As many of you know, I was chair of the board of trustees of Sacred Heart and a board member for a number of years. And people would ask me, why do you do so much for Sacred Heart? You don't have any girls. I have two boys. 
And that question always perplexed me because to me, it was such an honor to be working with Sacred Heart again and to be part of Shaw's future. The foundation that I received at Sacred Heart was so solid. How could I not want to spend my time on something that meant so much to me and still means so much to me? As an aside, my wonderful niece, Caitlin Sweeney, is a junior at Sacred Heart, so I did get a little bit of a benefit there. But one quick, one quick story. When I was a senior at Sacred Heart back in 1994, which was 30 years ago, um, I was very close with a sister who I'm sure many of you alums know, Sister Agnes Jerome. So I would visit... I would visit with Sister Agnes Jerome and I would clip coupons for the mission office. And she would talk to me about her family and her love of dogs. And I was so happy to spend a short bit of my day with Sister Agnes Jerome. And one day, close to my graduation, she gave me a gift. And it was a necklace um, with a Medal of Mary on it. And Sister Agnes Jerome, a few years before, had fallen down the stairs, had a terrible fall. And she said that someone gave her this necklace in the hospital. And she believed that it saved her life. And she said she was saving it for someone special. And she gave it to me as a graduation present, and after all these years, I hold that medal. I mean, I have beautiful things. I hold this medal so precious, and I don't know why she chose to give, that, give me that medal, but I was just a young girl clipping coupons, but Sister Agnes Jerome saw something special in me, and that stuck with me for 30 years. 30 years of, you can do this. You're special. Keep going. You got this. Don't give up. Don't let her down. This pure love and joy and goodness are what I remember most of my four years at Sacred Heart and one of the reasons that I gave back as a board member and I give financially today. I want future generations of women to know they're special and they can do whatever it takes to fulfill their passions and give their talents to the world. Back in June 94, my fellow graduates, many of them here, sat on the stage with me in the theater and they said these words of Carol King. We are the lucky ones. Some people never get to do all we got to do. Now and forever, I will always think of you. I will always think of Sacred Heart, of my friendships, of my education, of my sense of self that was developed within our, the walls of our beloved school. Sacred Heart needs to endure with many future generations of young women who need to go off into the world knowing they are special. Not just 12 AP exams under their belt, but they are special, they can do anything, and they have no limits to their success. So thank you for this honor tonight. Thank you to my amazing family, my husband Lou, my beautiful boys, I love you for being my constant cheerleaders. And to my parents, at least my mom is here. My dad stayed in Florida, but <laughs> um, my aunt and uncle, my cousins, everyone who's here, I appreciate all of you and thank you. Have a wonderful night. Thank you for this award.